Good day, dear learners! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Gilma. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. Alright, class, let's begin! The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about measures of central tendency for group data. In this particular topic, I'm going to show you how to compute for the mean, median, and mode for group data. Let's consider first the mean for group data. We're going to use the midpoint method. Example number one. A frequency distribution of the math test scores of grade 7 rainbow students. So as you can see here, we have the class scores and the frequencies. The third column is X prime, which is our midpoint. So how are we going to get the midpoint of the class scores? First, we're going to consider 70 to 79. Get the sum of 70 and 79. So we have 70 plus 79 is simply equal to 149 divided by 2. So we have 74.5. The next one is 60 to 69. Get the sum. So we have 60 plus 69 is equal to 129 divided by 2. So we have 64.5. 50 plus 59 is 109 divided by 2 is 54.5. 40 plus 49 is equal to 89 divided by 2 is simply equal to 44.5. 30 to 39. So we have 30 plus 39 is 69 divided by 2 is equal to 34.5 then we have the column for f x prime we simply get the product of the frequency and the midpoint so we have 5 times 74.5 is equal to 372.5 7 times 64.5 is equal to 451.5 12 times 54.5 is equal to 654 4 times 44.5 is equal to 178 7 times 34.5 is equal to 241.5 Get the sum of fx prime, so we have the summation of fx prime is simply equal to 1897.5. From here, we can now compute the mean. So we have x bar, which is simply the mean, is equal to the summation of fx prime all over n. Substituting now the summation of fx prime and n, so we have 1897.5 divided by 35. Simplifying further, so we have 54.21 or approximately equal to 54. We are done computing for the mean. This time, we're going to compute for the median. Let's consider again the frequency distribution of the math test scores of grade 7 rainbow students. The following are the steps in solving for the median of group data. Number 1. Construct cumulative frequency by copying the frequency of the last step, which is 7. Number 2. Add the frequency going up, thus 7 plus 4 is equal to 11, 11 plus 12 is equal to 23, 
23 plus 7 is equal to 30, and 30 plus 5 is equal to 35. Number 3, get the half of the sample size n over 2. That is 35 over 2, which is equal to 17.5. Number 4, subtract the cumulative frequency from the half sum n over 2. Take note that CF should not exceed the n over 2. So 11 is the CF and FM is 12, one step higher than the CF. The L is the true lower limit, subtract 0.5 from 50. So 50 minus 0.5 is equal to 49.5. Then, we have here the frequency distributions of the math test scores of the grade 7 rainbow students. Let's get first the cumulative frequency. I'm going to complete the column for CF. Let's just copy 7. We add 7 by 4. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 12 is 23. 23 plus 7 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. How are we going to determine now the median class? Take note, the sample size is 35. Get the half of the sample size, which is 35. So we divide 35 by 2. So this is simply equal to 17.5. As you can see, in the given cumulative frequency, there is no 17.5. Now, where is 17.5 located? From the cumulative frequency, which is 11, the next number to 11 is 12. 12 to 23 falls on the class scores, which is 50 to 59. And take note, 17.5 is simply located to 12 to 23. So therefore, the median class is 50 to 59. So as you can see here, we have the median class which is 50 to 59. Now what is the lower boundary? The lower boundary is simply the difference of the lower limit of the median class, 50, 2.5. So 50 minus 0.5 is simply 49.5. So the lower boundary is simply 49.5. Take note, n over 2 is 17.5. Cumulative frequency before the median class is simply 11. Since the cumulative frequency of the median class is 23. The frequency of the median class is simply 12. The interval or the class interval for the given class scores, as you can see, is equal to 10. So from here, we can now compute for the median. Consider now the given values for the lower boundary, n over 2, cumulative frequency before the median class, the frequency of the median, and the class interval. So using this formula, MD is equal to L plus N over 2 minus CFP over FM times I. Substituting now the given values for the lower boundary, one half of the sample size, 5 over 2 minus 11 all over 12 and times the class interval which is 10. Simplifying further, MD is just equal to 54.92. It's approximately equal to 55. We are done computing for the median. 
this time, we're going to compute for the mode. How are we going to compute for the mode? Using the formula M sub O, or simply the mole, is just equal to 3 times the median minus 2 times the mean. Take note. 3MD is 3 times the median and 2X bar is 2 times the mean. MO is equal to the mode. Substituting now the given values of the median and the mean in the given formula, so we have 3 times 54.92 minus 2 times 54.91. Since the computed value for the median is 54.92, and the computed value for the mean is 54.21. Simplifying further, we have 164.76 minus 108.42. This is just equal to 56.34. The mode is equal to 56.34, approximately equal to 56. So, as you can see, this is how we compute for the mean, median, and the mode for group data. Before we end our discussion for today, let me first read to you a simple passage from the Bible coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 12. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. Take note class, skills are developed through constant correct practice and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe everyone and may God bless us all.